this is basically the work, right? How to unwind the habits of armoring up against the fear of being neglected, abused. I mean, women have not been treated well over the last 100,000 years. So in your nervous system, in your body, right, there's, of course, there's mistrust, which is why, you know, I teach so much about leading from the masculine in a way that can be trusted, right? Because it's not just, just for those of you who haven't heard this spiel, it's not just what she's gone through in her own life as a woman, but she's carrying the collective psyche of abuse, neglect, I mean, all the way, generations and generations and generations through her body. Um, so what stops you as you get afraid? And then what? Um, I just sort of jump shit. Okay. So what stops you is not that you get afraid. What stops you is what you do with that fear. Okay. Yeah. Right. Avoid, so if the shut down. Yeah. So the feminine responsibility in an intimate moment, if you want to deepen any intimate moment, the feminine responsibility is to reveal. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm scared. Right. Um, most men do all right with that. She says, I'm scared you're going to hurt me or I'm scared you're going to leave, something like that. Most men okay with that? You got you to let them know, man. Because they, they, they don't know. They think that if they show you they're afraid, you will find it unattractive. No. No. It's actually the opposite. Now, if you project a bunch of shit on them while you're, you know, <laughs> while you're doing that, then yeah, they'll like, okay. <laughs> You know, daddy. Uh, um, it's funny. I figured I, was gonna, I had the joke of, well, on Father's Day, we can work out all our daddy issues on Father's Day. Um, but ultimately, if we were not trained to reveal our hearts when we were young, mm -hmm. uh, we will not be able to do it or trust it when we're older. Is that the case? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. With my dad, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, it's, it's usually not, you know, it's, it's often that easy, but not always. So the yoga is, I'm afraid, and how do I soften my shoulders? I'm afraid, and how do I soften my belly? I'm afraid, how do I put that, how do I express that through my throat? I'm afraid, like, how do I express it through my eyes? I'm afraid, how do I, how do I fall back in my body versus forward in my body so that I can actually invite him to be with my fear. Those are all yogic moves. You guys getting me on that? Those are all yogic moves of the body and breath. And so you get into this pose of openness and then you hold it. Just like when they tell you to hold warrior two, <laughs> right? Right? Or crescent pose. And then you're fucking dying. After a minute and a half, you're going, oh, fuck, I gotta, please be over, please be over. That's kind, it's kind of the similar sort of torture. Like, am I just, oh, oh, right? <clears throat> what that evokes in a masculine partner is more consciousness. Often it evokes the part of him that wants to protect you. Often it evokes the part of him that, that wants to move towards you. Now, if you add pleasure or yearning... Right? Like she was talking about yearning. If you add yearning to the fear, it becomes really quite sexy. Like yearning and yearning plus pleasure plus anything else is pretty hot. Right? You can add, yearn, yearn, I said this the other, uh, in February, I think, where Dominic was talking about, yearning and pleasure are kind of like the lubricants for the masculine nervous system to be able to take virtually anything else you can give him. Want to scream at him? Just like find some pleasure, find the part of you that wants him to show up for you, and then express anger from there. And again, I, I know this sounds kind of esoteric, but it's really not. It's, it's actually can be practiced, and you can see it, right? I'll put a group of women in front of a group of men. We don't, we're not gender balanced, so we can't do this today, but <clears throat> I'll put a group of women in front of a group of men. They'll get ra enraged, but they have to keep their heart open. And I say to the men, can you take more? And they're all like, yeah, more. <laughs> more. Right? And uh, so that's a myth that men don't want your anger, don't want your rage. Yeah. They just want it 
presented in a way they can metabolize and be with you because they love you. I mean, if, if, you, if a dude came here with you to this, he loves you. 